Cassini flew by Enceladus at an altitude of about 46 miles, that's 74 kilometers. This flyby was designed primarily for the ion and neutral mass spectrometer to analyze or taste the composition of the moon's south polar plume as the spacecraft flew through it. Cassini's path took it along the length of the Bagdad Sulcus, one of Enceladus' tiger stripe fractures, from which jets of water ice, water vapor, and organic, organic compounds spray into space. At this time, Baghdad Sulcus is in darkness, but that was not an obstacle for the other instrument, the composite infra infrared spectrometer, which can see fractures by seeing surface temperatures and which also took measurements during this flyby. As soon as daylight passed into the spacecraft's remote sensing instruments line of sight, Cassini's cameras acquired images of the surface. The wide-angle camera image included in the new batch, taken from around the time of the closest approach, has some smearing from the movement of the spacecraft during the exposure, but still shows the surface in vivid detail. Cassini's camera also imaged Enceladus' south polar plume at a high face angle as the satellite appeared as a thin crescent and the plume was backlit. After the Enceladus encounter, Cassini passed the moon Tithus with a closest approach distance of about 5,700 miles, that's 9,100 kilometers. This was Cassini's best imaging encounter with Tethys since, and since a targeted encounter in September 2005. The 2005 encounter, well, with a closest approach distance of 930 miles or 1,500 kilometers, provided the images of uh, Tethys with the best resolution and captured views of the side of Tethys that faces Saturn in its orbit. This new encounter examined the opposite side of Tethys, Tethys, providing some of the highest resolution images of the side that faces away from Saturn. Cassini acquired a 22-frame mosaic of this side, which features the large impact basin named Odysseus. Scientists will use these uh, this new data in conjunction with images from previous encounters to create digital elevation maps of the moon's surface.